The seven chakras are the vital centers of spiritual power within the human body, in which energy flows freely from one chakra to the next. These energetic centers help regulate all the internal functions of our bodies, such as boosting the immune system, regulating our emotions, and even allow us to connect to our elevated consciousness, which is our higher self. The chakras themselves are positioned in a straight line configuration starting from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Each chakra has its own vibrational frequency, which in turn is represented by a particular color. Let's begin at the base of the spine. This first chakra is called the root chakra, and its main function is to look after the spine, legs, feet, as well as our physical body. This chakra provides us with everything we need to survive and prosper such as food, water, stability, security, and physical energy. When this chakra is open, we typically feel safe and fearless, and when it's not functioning properly, we will normally feel low on energy. We might also tend to develop problems in our feet, legs, hip, or spine. Now let's move on to the second chakra. This chakra is called the Sacral Chakra, and it's located just below your navel. The purpose of this chakra is to look after your bladder, kidneys, reproductive system, and lower abdomen. This chakra deals with the emotional body, sensuality, and creativity. It is the center of our feelings and sensations, which in turn are the driving force for the enjoyment of our life through the five senses. If this chakra is not functioning properly, then you might develop problems in your bladder, kidney, or pelvic area. Moving on, the following and third chakra is called the Solar Plexus Chakra, which is located in your stomach region. This chakra makes sure that your stomach, liver, intestines, and digestive system are working properly. The purpose of this chakra is to make sure we conduct our life in accordance with what we believe in. It helps us find direction in life and allows us to take the actions needed in order to reach our goals. The solar plexus chakra also acts as a line of defense that protects our own moral code and integrity. It does this by making sure we don't stray too far from our own path and therefore not allowing other people's opinions and negative beliefs to influence our state of mind or decision making. If your solar plexus chakra is out of balance, you might suffer from bad digestion, liver, and pancreas problems. You might also have trouble standing up for what you believe in, or saying no out of fear of being judged, and might even find yourself expressing your opinions in a defensive and angry manner. Now let's move our attention to the fourth chakra. This chakra is called the heart chakra, which is located in the chest region, and its function is to look after your heart, lungs, and circulatory system. This chakra also keeps your heart open and loving, therefore making it easier for us to express our emotions and allow us to be more compassionate towards others. The heart chakra also acts as a purification system for all the other chakras, thereby cleansing them of any negative emotions and allowing our entire energy field to remain positive. When this chakra is open, you will feel a deep sense of connectedness with everything that is around you. Hence, you will come to the realization that there is beauty in all things. Forgiveness, empathy, and love for oneself is another benefit of having this chakra activated. However, when there is a blockage in the heart chakra, you may experience difficulties in relating to others. You might even feel excessive jealousy, codependence, lack of sympathy, and even bitterness. Imbalance within this chakra may bring about several health issues, such as heart-related problems, lung infections, and even bronchitis. Next, we move on to the fifth chakra, which is referred to as the throat chakra. And as the name implies, it is situated in the throat region. Its job is to look after your throat, thyroid, neck, and jaw. 
This chakra will essentially help you find your true authentic and individual voice and assist you in expressing it, therefore making it a key component of verbal communication. Behavioral and psychological characteristics associated with this chakra can include a good sense of timing, realizing your vocation, purpose, propensity to create and project ideas into reality. Another function of this chakra is its ability to connect you with the etheric realm and the more subtle realms of spirit and intuitive abilities. When the throat chakra is blocked, it can lead to a lack of control of one's speech, speaking too much or inappropriately, for example, not being able to listen to others, excessive fear of public speaking, inability to keep secrets, keep your word, or it may even lead you to tell lies. Now we move on to the sixth chakra, most commonly referred to as the third eye chakra, which is located in the center of the forehead between and above your eyebrows. This chakra looks after your brain, neurological system, eyes, ears, and nose. This chakra also has the ability to unlock the power of the mind, and therefore it can help teach us how to heal ourselves and change our life through our very own willpower. The third eye chakra can give us vision, intuition, perception of subtle dimensions and movements of energy. It connects us to wisdom, insight, and can unlock our psychic abilities related to clairvoyance and clairaudience. Sustaining awareness of the third eye chakra energy might require some focus on our part and the ability to relax into a new way of seeing things. When we learn to truly focus the mind and consciousness itself, we can better see past the distractions and illusions of this world. Therefore, we will have a clearer understanding of the truth. Thus, we can have more insight to live and create in a way that is truly aligned with our highest good. Third eye chakra imbalance can result in lack of clarity, rejection of everything that is spiritual, feeling stuck and unable to see past our problems in order to solve them. It will also create health problems associated with the brain, such as blurry vision, insomnia, sinus issues, and nausea. Lastly, we move on to the final chakra within the seventh chakra system, which is called the crown chakra. This chakra is located at the top of the head, and its function is to look after your upper brain and nervous system. The crown chakra gives us access to higher states of awareness and allows us to tap into the universal consciousness. It will help to awaken you to your highest truth, which is that you are an infinite being of light that lives in a temporary human body so that you can experience life on earth. When you awaken to this truth, you will experience true inner peace and a bliss so magnificent that nothing else in the human experience could ever compare. For it's at this very stage that one attains full enlightenment. At this very moment, you will realize that you are connected to everything and everything is connected to you and that you are unconditional love itself. Imbalance in the crown chakra will result in close-mindedness being disconnected to spirit, living in your head, and being detached from your body and earthly matters. People who suffer from crown chakra imbalance may also develop neurological disorders, nerve pain, Alzheimer's, insomnia, depression, and may also experience recurring headaches and migraines. As you can see, the chakras play a very important role in our well-being. And that's why it's very important to make sure that they are working properly. Otherwise, our bodies will be out of balance. Normally, when our emotions become congested with negativity and stress, it creates block within these centers, which can manifest as illness, aches, or pain. So it's essential that we become familiar with each one so that we can rebalance the whole system. 
and maintain proper equilibrium. Imagine a creek with several small pools of water, each one spiraling down continuously. Each pool of water represents a chakra and the moving water represents the energy that flows from one pool to the next. Now what if someone were to throw garbage into those pools? Eventually the pools would become clogged and the water would not be able to flow freely. Hence that is why many people never achieve the balance that is required to live a prosperous and meaningful life because their internal chakra system is not working properly and as a result, the body begins to malfunction. So learn to work with energy and practice meditation techniques that can help you cleanse out any blockages that may be present or you can seek help from a professional spiritual healer in your area that can perhaps assist you in realigning all these centers so that you can be on your way to living the life that your soul intended for you to live, which is one of abundance and true happiness.